And they're away, racing them for the first of the 2023 season here at Nottingham with the Visit Racing TV.com maiden stakes. A very good start by Medici Chapel over towards the far side. Umming and Aring is also there. Popular Dream away to the left in the red and white, also fairly handy as well as they're racing almost in two groups here. The far side group is Umming and Aring, Medici Chapel, Storm Fox, and Victor's Dream. Near side under the rail is Popular Dream from Fair Wind. They're being followed through by Bright in third, Serrado on is hard under the rail just in behind those and then further back at the rear is Jim Crack Warrior. They're already coming down to the final two and it's Umming and Aring Storm Fox. Medici Chapel on the extreme right with the blue cap. Popular Dream under the stands rail from Fairwind. Bright has now been switched out. Further back to Serra Dawn. Victor's Dream and Jim Crack Warrior last of all. Racing down to the final 200 yards. Fairwind on the near side. Umming and Aring the far side of these two with Serra Dawn under the rail finishing strongly. Umming and Aring and Serra Dawn going on in the run to the line, umming and ahring on the far side of Serra Dawn, umming and ahring beat Serra Dawn, this fair win third and Medici suspended. Chapel was fourth <coughs> Umming and ahring is off the mark here, Virginia Mangan and Bill Turner Good lady, somewhat detached third, coming towards the next would you be well been in front throughout, jumped that well but Scirocco's dream jumped it really nice at the inside and Scirocco's dream is drawn alongside now to would you be well who's trying to get back in front would you be well? Shiroko's dream, little to choose between them. Shiroko's dream jumped that really well, though. Would you be well? Not quite so good. An impressive lady got over in installments at the back of the field. So they're turning out of the back straight for the final time. Four more fences left to jump, and it's would you be well to Shiroko's dream. Well clear of impressive lady who is tailed off. Heading towards this fourth last, and would you be well's gone back on again. Down in class today, of course, would you be well? She's having a bit of a look at that one. She got over OK. Shiroko's dream, though, jumped it in a much more efficient fashion as they make the turn for home. Would you be well? She's led for the large majority of this race. And now she's got Shiroko's dream at it. Shiroko's dream was moving quite nicely down the far side. But the pro cush has been drawn by Brendan Powler's impressive lady pulls up. So it's would you be well that leads them to the third last. Would you be well? Ears pricked. Jumped it well. Shiroko's dream in second over rather slowly as they make their way down towards the second last. And it's Would You Be Well who's now extending the advantage by four or five lengths as they come to the penultimate fence now. Would You Be Well has had a bit of a look at it, but she got over OK. Shiroko's dream in second and racing on down towards the final fence now. It's Would You Be Well. Now just being kept up to her work, but she's got a very healthy advantage. One more fence to get over and she gets over it well. Would You Be Well. The outsider of three is going to, in the end, triumph in a really rather cosy fashion. Would you be well? The win Boogie Woogie, Star Galaxy next. As is added towards the outside in green and red, followed by Fancy Gloves. Point to prove, has Night Blue on her inside and at the back of the field is Anora as they head on towards the seven furlong point. Save the last dance, Wayne Lorden on the outside leads by less than a length, Flafest. Luke McAteer on the outside, his all-time great Seamus Heffernan alongside stable companion Boogie Woogie and Ryan Moore. In fifth position, Star Galaxy Dylan Brown McMonigle, followed by Fancy Gloves, Rory Cleary, as is that Chris Hayes, a couple of lengths then to on the inside, Night Blue Shane Foley, alongside the red and yellow colours of Point to Prove and Sean Bird. And about two and a half lengths adrift at the back of the field and Nora, Robbie Colgan as they head on. Nearing the five furlong point and the end of the back straight, save the last dance leads now by over two lengths. From on the inside, Boogie Woogie sharing second spot with Flafest and they're followed by Star Galaxy. All time great nudged along, behind them is Azazat towards the outside with fancy gloves as they pass the half mile pole and make the swing that'll bring them across towards the straight. Save the last dance in the pink colours, leads by two lengths. Disputing second spot, Boogie Woogie on the inside of Flafest, and they're tracked by Star Galaxy, all-time great, is pushed along, making grand around the outside is Azazat as they near the turn in. Save the last dance out in front, chased by Boogie Woogie, Flafest around the outside, Azazat, Star Galaxy trying to make headway behind them, all-time great is weak, and Night Blue stays on, but with over a furling and a half to race, save the last dance still out in front. 
chased by Boogie Woogie, as is that with the nose bend on the outside. Star Galaxy behind them in fourth, inside the final furlong. Save the last stand, still leads, as is that in Boogie Woogie, both staying on. Star Galaxy back in fourth, but with 50 yards to race. Save the last stand, and Wayne Lorden in front will win the opener from stable companion Boogie Woogie second, as is that third, Star Galaxy was fourth. Good to go. And they're off the race over seven furlongs for the opener. Awkward start this for Kalian Searsha. Didn't break play. well for this Spreadic Sports best Premier League odds apprentice handicap. There was a good start though from uh, Coast who takes them along early in the light blue and red. Leads by a couple of lengths from the pink of uh, Sweet Mist who's racing on the inside of the nail gunner yellow and black and then the turquoise and black of Almodovar del Rio. White bridle that's Susie's connoisseur followed closely by the quarter jacket of revolutionary man on their heels is my boy Jack in the maroon. A couple of lengths then to Cody Gold and three lengths to the slow starting Kaylin Searsha who's the best part of 12 lengths behind the pace at a coast who's gone off at a really good pace and they head inside the last half mile. Leads by two from Sweet Mist and the nail gunner together. Clear fourth on Modavar del Rio. Another two length break back to Susie's connoisseur, revolutionary man and my boy Jack in a little group. And then two lengths to Cody Gold, who's being pushed along. And the back marker is Kaylin Searsha. Coast not so far clear, sweet mist on the heels of the leader, just angling for a run. Out wide, the Nelgan is pushed along by Elmay Crute. Then there's two lengths back to the improving Almodovar del Rio and a Morgan Cole, revolutionary man the inside. My boy Jack is next. Heading for home, and Coast is set to be tackled by sweet mist Almodovar del Rio. The Nelgan are out wide, and in behind them, angling for a run now towards the inside is revolutionary man. Coos joined by uh, sweet mist, and then comes Almodovar del Rio on the left, on the right, revolutionary man still. Keeps on well, but it's Sweet Mist in front. Now well inside the final furlong. Sweet Mist from Revolutionary Man. Sweet Mist by half a length. Sweet Mist takes the opener. Revolutionary Man is second. Almodovar del Rio is third. Then the front running coast and the staying on my boy Jack. Duke Cater goes along in front, followed by Sable Companions, the Black Tiger. And on the outside, the Prairie, improving the maroon and white colours. Harsh takes over in second spot now. Behind that leading quartet is Walsingham. Then Dubawi Delight, new variant. No big deal, and the grey Pinot Gris at the back of the field as they head on. They're about seven and a half furlongs to race. Duke Cader, Seamus Heffernan in the lead from Harsh and Declan McDonough. On the inside, the Black Tiger in blue and orange colours. Ryan Moore in fourth spot to Prairie Wayne Lorden. Then Walsingham and Chris Hayes. To the outside is Dubawi Delight and Shane Foley, followed by new variant Luke McAteer towards the inner in white. No big deal, last but one under Niall McCullough, and at the back is Pino Gris and Gary Carroll as they head on with less than six furlongs to race. In the lead, Duke Cader by a length and a half to Harsh in second. Closely followed towards the inner by the Black Tiger with the Prairie to his outside and they're followed by Walsingham and to Bowie Delight a bit closer on the outside in sixth position ahead of New Varian, no big deal. And three lengths away at the back is Pino Gris as they head for the half mile pole and the end of the back straight. Duke Cader still in front. Chased in second by Harsh, then the Black Tiger with the Prairie on the outside. Walsingham is behind them, and then Dubawi Delight as they turn. Over three furlongs to race, they're heading for the turn into the straight. Duke Cater by over a length. Harsh is second. Up on the outside, the Prairie. The Black Tiger pushed along on the inner. Walsingham tracks them in fifth. Dubawi Delight and New Varian, no big deal. A break to Pino Gris as they swing in. With over two furlongs to race, Duke Cater leads. The Prairie up on the outside, Harsh in the maroon and white. Walsingham makes headway in the centre of the course. Behind him on the inside is the Black Tiger. Furling and a half to race, Duke Cader still in front. The Prairie, Walsingham down the outside, ahead of Harsh and the Black Tiger as they pass the furlong pole. Duke Cader tackled now by the Prairie. The stable companions fight it out, staying on from the back behind them.